hey guys welcome back to bond with tv guys you know what we're reacting to i have seen a lot and lost all my imam what can i do guys let's get straight into this i can't even pronounce the name so let's get straight into this the next question is a person is saying i have sinned a lot and i have lost all iman i had do you have any advice on how i can become a better human being yes right now man right now turn to allah and say oh allah forgive me that simple that simple what separated Islam from any other religion? There's no middleman in Islam. You don't need to sit in a box or put some money in a box or sit in front of a human being and confess to this and no. Between you and Allah right now. Right now between you and Allah. Say, oh Allah forgive me. Know that Allah will forgive you. This is the beauty of Islam. No matter who you are, no matter where you are, no matter what condition you're in, no matter how much sin you've committed, know Allah Azza wa forgives all sins. Hadith could see authentic hadith. Allah says what? Rather before that, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala speaks in Quran. Allah says, O oh my slaves, those who have transgressed against themselves, don't you ever, ever give up hope in the mercy of your Rabb, in the mercy of your Lord. Don't ever give up hope. And I'm not here to, 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 wallahi, to sweeten the, you know, or to try and inspire you or to wow you with my speech. Wallahi, I'm not. I'm speaking direct, authentic material. Don't you ever, I don't care how much sin you've committed, don't you ever give up hope in the mercy of your Lord. And look at this concept of Islam. I challenge this with anything and everyone else. You know, everything else in this world, you know, your best friend. Well, what, what's, what is it? Uh, BBF? Yeah? I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not very, is, is it? Is it BBF? What is it? BFF? I don't know what it is, bro. BBF, BBFF. But I remember someone sent it to me. I thought, BFF? What the crack is this guy on, man? It's, yeah, it's best friends forever. What the hell? <laughs> best friends? Anyway, right? But I'm sure everyone in this room, everyone in this room has a best friend, has a Kaui has or if you're one of the boys bro we're like that bro custom bro i'll take a bullet for him bro <laughs> bullet while well, like firecrackers go off people run out you let alone bullets <laughs> all right yeah but everyone in this room has a best friend wallahi no matter how close your friend is if you push the right buttons wallahi they will disown you I've had BFFs go to war with each other because of what she said and how she said it and the way she looked at me and the way I looked at her. I've had blood brothers, let alone, you know, your mate, your kawi at school. I've had blood brothers go to war and shoot each other. Wallahi, this dunya, nothing is forever. Anyone and everyone in this world, if you push the right buttons, they will disown you. You know, you can work for a company. You can work for a company and give them the best years of your life. Work there for 30 years straight. You never took a day off. You never took a sick day. You, you, were, you were there 10 minutes before work and 10 minutes after work. And wallahi, even this company, they have a schedule. They have rules and regulations that if you break them, Know that you're gone, you're done, you're finished. Your own mother, your own... Does, does anyone in this world, is there any doubt in anyone's mind that there's someone other than your mother that loves you and 
Is there anyone that loves you more than your mother? Impossible. Wallahi, even your mother, if you push the right buttons, she'll disown you. But Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the king, he says, oh my slaves, do whatever you please. Do it a million times. Disobey me. Do whatever you want for 10 years, 20 years, 30 years, 40 years, 50, 60 years. You never prayed. You never fasted. Sin among sin. And then once, only once, you turn to me and you say, Ya Rabb. Allah says, Ya Abdi Naam, what do you want, man? What do you want? Allah forgives. Now you don't need to read a book. You don't need to sign up or an application. Now, right now, between you and Allah. And no one can take that away from you. Turn to Allah. Allah says, my slave, if you come to me with an earth load of sin, but you don't associate partners with me, I will come to you with forgiveness that matches it. Allah says, oh my slave, if you come to me a hand span, I come to you an arm's length. If you come to me walking, I come to you running. My slave, when you remember me, I remember you. So yeah, if you've sinned and you've lost hope, then I tell you right now, make tawbah to Allah. Just right now, between you and your heart, ask Allah for sincere forgiveness. And wallahi, you will taste immediate iman. And then obviously work on this and try to get closer to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, of course, and I'm sure you know the pattern. Guys, I don't know what he said, but let me ask a question. Do you guys believe we are God's slaves? That, that sounds strange. I think that sounds strange, but in Christianity, we are sons and daughters of God. But I know Islam still believes we are sons and daughters of God, but like, why be he a slave? Guys, please. Any conversation, I need your help. I need your help. I need your help. This is making my head go crazy, but I need your help. But I love what he said. Like when you, when you know you have done wrong and you come to God's forgiveness, do you know the hardest part of like do you know the hardest thing to actually do? Like the person that wrote that message, I kind of understand where it's coming from. Do you know how hard it is to know? You are doing something wrong and still do it knowing you're breaking you know you are breaking yourself once you are breaking god's head but knowing you're breaking yourself and knowing you're offending god like sinning knowingly like guys it's really really hard for you to ask for forgiveness because you clearly knew what you were doing you clearly knew what you were doing and you did it so you asking for forgiveness is like I know I did it but I still like you're not trying to think about it like I knew this was a sin and I honestly chose to do it. It's really really heartbreaking. Like you, you just can't find yourself to beg, like I've been there once, I know what I'm saying, like, you can't, like, I remember I was crying, and I'm still gonna go through that again, I'm still gonna cry, but I, I think I'm gonna ask forgiveness again, I, I ask forgiveness a lot, but like, I kind of understood the point that person is coming from, because it's really, really hard, you know, you're committing a sin, I do it, and you ask for, like, it's really hard. Like, I know, I won't say anybody have gone through this, but I'll say most of us have gone through this. So, guys, just tell me your thoughts in the conversation. Just like, just get my channel, ask me stuff, guys, first.